What's going on guys? I just recently made a starting a sticker business video and you guys totally liked it. So in that same vein, I'm gonna continue this series talking about the stickers that I'm making. So in the last video, I talked about me starting the sticker business, but in this one, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm making these so you can go and make your own. So the first thing I do is I roll over to my computer and I start making the file that I'm gonna print for the stickers. So like 90% of the time, I like to use Adobe Illustrator to make my stickers, but there's a ton of other things you can use too, like Procreate on the iPad, you can use Canva, there's so many different things. So once I have everything where I like it, I'm gonna export it, and then I'm gonna put it into the Cricut software. The key thing to these Kiss Cut stickers is you wanna make sure that your background and your foreground are on separate layers. So export those differently, because that's how we're gonna get that Kiss Cut effect on the sheet. Once everything's laid out where I like it, I'm gonna press print. I wanna use my actual printer settings, not the settings in the Cricut. So make sure you click to use your own printer settings. I like to put mine on photo glossy paper and put the quality all the way to high. I got a ton of questions in my last video about what paper I'm using for these stickers. This is the Joyeza uh, vinyl sticky paper. It's glossy. I think they also have like a matte version too, but this stuff is fantastic. I was so impressed about how the quality was. I have nothing to do with them. I'm not affiliated or anything. I was just super impressed by the quality. If you guys want to get some of this for your own, I'll have an affiliate link in the description. You can grab some yourself. I have all my settings where I like them so I can throw my paper into the printer and I can start getting these Kiss Cut sheets started. I talked about this in the last video, but the printer I'm using is the Epson EcoTank ET2803. I really like this one because of the individual fill tanks. Uh, it just helps with refilling and ink preservation. All right, the print came out looking good. I like how it looks, so I'm gonna throw it onto my Cricut mat so I can get these cut. Since this is a Kiss Cut sheet, I wanna make sure to click the right setting so I don't cut too far. I like to do sticker paper removable. There's a lot of different settings you can choose, but I just like how this one performs. So what it's doing right now is just a light cut. This will allow me to peel it off of the sheet without removing the whole sheet. What you guys don't see in this video is I come back through and I cut the outside one more time in a thicker cardstock setting. This allows the back to come off while the stickers to stay on the front. Look at that guys. I love how these turn out. It's such a nice product. Okay, so you guys just watched me make my kiss cut sheets. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my die cut stickers. Let's get into it. So again, I'm in Adobe Illustrator, but for these die cut stickers, I like to make sure I have a thick white border around it. This just makes the sticker look nicer um, and it's kind of the industry standard for die cuts. So I like to make sure I have a thick white border. There's a lot of ways to achieve this, um, but I like to just add a stroke and then outline it. Uh, it makes a good effect and I can export that, drop it into the Cricut software and get it going. Again, I'm doing the print to cut. I'm gonna make sure to lay these out. I'm gonna try to get as many onto the canvas as possible because I wanna get as many stickers as possible for this paper. Make sure I'm getting the most bang for my buck. So now I'm gonna print it. Again, I'm not gonna use the settings inside Cricut. I'm gonna use my printer settings and I'm gonna run it through. I think the colors on this printer are so good, really. So these, since they're die cut, I wanna make sure they're a little bit stronger if you wanna put them outside or on cups or something. So I'm gonna throw a laminate on top. This one happens to be a holographic laminate. I just think it looks cool. You don't have to do it, but it's gonna help the life of these stickers last longer. Adding this makes it a little thicker. So when you go to cut, make sure you do a heavy cardstock. Make sure the pressure is a little heavier just so you can get a nice clean cut through the entire sheet. So since I don't have these on my store yet, I'm gonna take a couple photos and I'm gonna upload them to my Etsy shop. Guys, that is how I'm making my stickers. Hopefully this video helped you or inspired you to start making your own stickers. If you guys made it to this part of the video, I wanna say thank you, but more importantly, I wanna let you know I'm giving away some of these stickers completely free. All you gotta do is comment on this video and hit me up on Instagram and I'll send you some stickers. Well guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you wanna see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. Until the next one, peace.